Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the Boxy Box from D-Link. In this episode specifically, we're going to take a look at the settings. Now, the settings menu is a little bit hidden, but you do have the ability to customize your Boxy Box setup somewhat. To get to it, you hit the menu button, and then go up to the top, look for the cog. Click on that, and it'll bring up a settings menu with a number of options that you can go through. The first of these gives you some general setup options, including location, which will determine what kind of weather appears in your menu bar in the mini menu determines your time format, whether it's 12 or 24 hours, whether you see your temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit, and determines your time zone. Next down, we have the display, which determines the resolution. You can change between resolutions if it doesn't look right on your television. You also have a few other options for black level and your screen format and overscan. Under the menu option, we have the default views for shows, movies, and apps. We can change between files, favorites, and all. Screensaver option determines the behavior of your screensaver, when it'll kick in, what it'll look like, and where the files for your screensaver are stored. Under language, we see the type of character set that's used by the boxy box, as well as what's used for the additional keyboards that you may attach through the back. The sounds option will determine whether navigation sounds are made whenever you use the remote. Under advanced, it determines whether you show hidden files and directories, which can be important if you have drives to have been used on Linux machines, and whether or not it'll ignore prefixes when you're sorting alphabetically. The next main option is for social. Now the boxy box is social and allows you to pull in feeds from other social services like Twitter and Facebook. Some of this allows you to toggle whether or not you see things that have been favorited by your friends on Facebook or Twitter. The next main option is for media. When you click through this, it determines how things will look on your screen. So the video and the audio options. It'll determine how subtitles show up. When you're playing music, it'll determine whether it automatically plays the next item. For photos, it gives you a few options for photo slideshows. And under advanced, it gives you a few options, including whether or not to warn you when you close a video. The next main settings option is for the system. Now, this gives you a bit of information about the boxy box itself. It gives you some networking information. Under audio, it determines what type of output you have, whether you have Dolby Digital or whether you have surround sound. Under the update, it allows you to check for a new version of boxy and lets you know when the last time boxy checked for a new version. If you have any services to configure, they'll appear here. And under advanced, it gives you a few options for clearing out old information and debugging. Now the next option is networking. This is the network setup that you first saw when you set up Boxy for the first time. It allows you to change things between wired and wireless. And for more advanced users, it also allows you to set up VPN and file sharing from this menu. The next option is for file sources. So if you have local media attached either to secure digital, networking, or attached to the USB, it allows you to define specific directories here so you don't have to keep looking for them every single time you fire up your Boxy box. Now the last of these main options is for adult content and how the Boxy box handles it. Now if you have children in the house you don't want seeing adult content, you can hide all of this or you can set it up with a password so that if you still want to watch it, you can, but they can't unless they have the password. And the very last of these options at the very bottom is a fun one, is for credits. It shows you who's worked on the Boxy Box, both on the XMBC side and the Boxy team. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you other ways of interacting with your Boxy Box. And for the show notes on this and the other parts in the series, you can go to butterscotch.com.